excuse my hairstyle today. I just came into another rain shower when I walked Dudley half an hour ago. So <laughs> that's what it is in rain season in uh, far north Queensland. So, but that's not the topic here, not my hair anyway. <laughs> Today I will show you around inside our caravan when I set up my stuff to do actually some work. We are here still in um, Far North Queensland in the Cairns hinterland and we are about to pack up and move on after nearly eight months. Simon has been down in Cairns for work. He worked in the cabinetry for the last few months, just um, topping up the accounts before we move on. And I stayed here in Corinna in our caravan, mainly because we have a dog and you know, if you have a dog, you can't leave him alone all day in the caravan and do some other stuff for several reasons. And the times when Simon is at work, that's when I am able to actually unpack my work stuff, my tools and all the things I need to work in my business. I am running my business since 2010 and when we decided to move into the caravan permanently to travel around Australia, that was in September 2021. It was an easy decision for me because I knew I can take some of my stuff with me and I can keep running my business and working on my business while we are on the road. And I think a lot of people wondering how to earn money while you're on the road and what you can do. And there are so many different ways to do that. And uh, we did a few different things already, but uh, mainly we always come back to the things that we used to do, because that's where we are good at. So <laughs> Simon always picks up some work as a cabinet maker wherever he goes, because he's a good tradie and uh, he knows his stuff. And me running my business is just, it's my second nature. I do it for, as I said, 14 years now. And yeah, I'm glad I can take it with me because that makes life on the road much easier, especially if you're traveling long term. My business is designing, creating machine embroidery designs. So I do basically the digital pattern for people who have a home embroidery machine or even businesses with multi needle machines. I digitize logos and um, artwork and different stuff and I also sell my designs in my online shop for many years now already. I already did that successfully before we moved into the caravan so I knew the business is running well. It wasn't a startup when we moved into the caravan, it was a well established business already. But it is an online business and online businesses are basically best thing to take on the road if you don't need much um, storage or if you can sort out logistics and all that stuff that's a um, perfect way to earn money on the road that's for sure so I show you quickly what my setup is when I'm working here I cleaned it up a little bit because usually it looks like um, yeah like a minefield you can say and I can only do that when Simon is at work outside the caravan. If he's doing outside work on the caravan for a certain time, 
like a certain amount of time or if I know he is away for the day because that gives me time to focus on my things and pack up, pack away after I finished before he comes home. Otherwise he would get a heart attack sometimes <laughs> when he would see the caravan. But since I'm cleaning up anyway, my business, my, my task and, and keeping the inside clean, that's uh, not an issue. So quickly, we have a 21 foot caravan. It is a Zone RV Sojourn built in April 2023. So we are here in this caravan for 10 months nearly. Wow. Yep. Not even a year, but soon. And this caravan has a lot of space and a good payload. So we can take a certain amount of tools with us. When we moved into the caravan, we did a weigh-in and uh, we knew we were a little bit overweight just by I think 100 kilos, so we um, got rid of some stuff. But since we um, sorted stuff out and um, moved stuff back into the storage, we are now legal. We are within our allowance weight-wise, um, even with three full water tanks, we are fine. That is the most important thing. And um, before I pack away, I thought I'd show you what it looks like when I'm working here. So I turn the camera around and give you a quick insight. And after that, I will pack everything away and then I show you where I store everything in the caravan. So you actually see the storage filled up with all that stuff. This is basically my workplace. I have my computer set up there with my digitizing software. On this side is my sewing and embroidery machine. And this is actually the thing. This is not only a sewing machine. I can revert this into a sewing machine only. It's a Brother NV2600. And at the moment it is set up as an embroidery machine, but I can just remove the embroidery unit and just use it as a normal sewing machine. Very versatile. And the kitchen bench is just big enough for that machine. As you can see here, the sink starts here and Simon actually made me a board to cover the sink. So I have an extended um, workspace here on the bench, which is awesome and um, it gives me a lot of space to work on the machine when I do my designs and I really really love it and when I have it set up as a sewing machine I have it over here underneath the sewing mat and sit here and do my quilts and gifts and everything else very comfortable I love my working space here absolutely awesome so coming to the bed area that's where i store my stuff when i am in the middle of a project as i said i already packed it together because i'm going to pack it away but yeah basically i'm carrying a few different sorts of stabilizer for the embroidery process a large ruler i've got my embroidery thread some bedding and fabrics and templates and then this is the cover for my sewing machine and in this box I have all the bits and pieces that I need to set up the embroidery machine and in here I've got some uh, fabrics and that's not all I have more fabrics in the footlocker on my side of the bed and underneath my side of the bed it's about an 20 minutes job to clean up the, the uh, caravan here but I'm happy that I actually can carry my stuff with me because um, otherwise I think I wouldn't have survived the eight months up here in Korea now while Simon is away. by the way is the design I did today this is a little coaster for your table where you can put your uh, coffee mug or glass on 
just a little design for upcoming Easter. There are some different designs that I made and this one is one of them. you quickly where the sewing machine sits. I have the base from the transport box on the floor and the machine sits in that lower part and then I just put the cover on top of it like so. And that's how my machine travels since we are on the road. Perfect storage, nothing breaks, safe spot, dry, Oh, good. These are, by the way, the things I design. These are the things that I sell in my online shop. And these are the test stitches that I did before I published my designs. Not sure what I'm doing with them now, but I will find the use. Definitely. This magic box contains the embroidery unit for the machine and also different sizes of hoops. So I carry that one with me like so. It actually travels the way it has been sent to me and I think that is a pretty pretty safe way to carry my stuff around. Put the hoops in here and then the hoop guides on top and it goes into the box again. and safe for future travels. Perfect. My cutting mat goes here in between. Perfect space for that because it has to stay straight. If you don't lay it flat it bends and this is the safest way to keep it flat and straight. Huge cutting rulers here and that is pretty much all that I do for traveling. I'm just using the stabilizer here to secure the machine a little bit more so it doesn't move around too much. And then we just fill the spots here with uh, some bits and pieces actually. For example, this is my new tripod which I often need in the future and soon in the upcoming uh, travels. So that's here, got some spare shoes, my old songs are about to get up and um, yeah some other stuff that we actually carry around, umbrella. So as you can see here this is all my sewing stuff, embroidery sewing, fabrics, machine, embroidery arm, everything I need to get started and then under here I have my thread storage and some more fabrics which I have to clean up and move around to put the thread in that I had just used today and then this one is actually closed until I use it again. The only thing that has to go in here are the boxes with the thread. 
I'm making space now for this. So, and that's it. This is my storage for everything that I can't fit underneath here. I close that one. I close the bed. Turn around. Everything is ready to go. Pretty much. That's how quick you organize your living space after you have done some crafting. I hope you liked that little video and I showed you the inside of my very special area. I'm glad Simon is allowing me to carry my tools, but on the other hand, he has his tools with him as well. So that is pretty much how we live here and how I work here. And I stored that all away now. I'm not sure how long it will take until I get it up out again for the next few weeks or even months. I'm not planning to do anything on my sewing and embroidery machine because we are now off to travel and um, have some off time after all that work for the last few months and lots of overtime for Simon as well. So well deserved break. And hopefully the roads are open. We are planning to go inland and explore the outback. We are here leaving Cairns, going via Mariba and then hopefully Chilago and Normanton and then we will see. We have no idea if we can go that far because um, apparently there is water over the road sometimes depending on the rainfalls, but we will see. I'm very excited. I'm very excited to finally take off again and Simon of course as well. So anyway. If you wonder if you can um, take your craft stuff with you or if you should and you're planning to travel for a longer period of time, my personal opinion is you should because if you're a crafty person you get bored easily if there is like a few days of bad weather and you can't do anything and you're sitting in a car and you can't go out and stuff like that. So. Whatever I do, I mean, I have stuff for rock painting with me. I've got my crochet, my embroidery and sewing machine. Um, I've got some um, sketchbooks to do some drawing, all that stuff. So it doesn't matter. I don't, I'm not fixed on one thing. I just have a few different things with me and I'm glad I do. Thanks for watching this video. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you any questions about embroidery and sewing machine or all that stuff or about the caravan or about my business or about how to do work online in certain areas hit me hit me with your questions and i'm doing my best to answer them just leave them in the comments and um, i'm signing off now and the next video you will see is probably our first feedback from somewhere on the road in the outback hopefully was better weather than what we had here in the last few weeks and so over the rain <laughs> but you know that summer in the tropics wet season we expected that and now we have experienced it and it's okay for us now time to move on thanks so much and see you soon bye bye